Imagine you're a movie star and you've been nominated for an important award. How would you prepare? You may spend months working with a stylist to put together the perfect outfit. You may have your hair cut or borrow jewelry, and you'd probably work on an acceptance speech. If all goes well, you'll have 30 seconds on stage to wow the audience and thank all the right people before the exit music starts playing. That's a whole lot of preparation for such a short amount of time in the spotlight, right? But just like performers and athletes have to make every moment count, so do spring wildflowers. They are made to achieve a lot in their fleeting appearance, which can be as short as a few weeks between January and June. Because of their quick leaf out, bloom, and disappearance, many woodland spring wildflowers are referred to as spring ephemerals. For spring ephemerals, timing is of utmost importance. They count on the short window of time in early spring when the earth starts to thaw, but the sun still reaches the forest floor. They need enough warmth and light to emerge and survive, but they need to do all of their work before the trees above them start to leaf out and the canopy closes. How do they get so much done in such a short amount of time? And how do they survive earlier in the season than so many other plants? First of all, they work hard to save energy and they do their prep work underground. Have you ever opened up a package, maybe for something like an inflatable mattress that's packed so tightly in there, you know when you take it out, you'll never get it back in the box? It's kind of like that. Think about a plant already preformed, packed super tightly in a bulb underground. Once it gets the signal that the timing is right, it pops up above ground. Its cells fill with water, it rapidly expands into leaves and stems, and eventually buds and flowers. In the few weeks they are above ground, the leaves absorb energy from the sun and send that energy down into the underground parts of the plant to be stored. The plants then use that stored energy to prep for next year and repeat the cycle. Since blooming is a very energy expensive task, some plants will store energy repeatedly for years before they produce a flower. Spring ephemerals also have adaptations that help them survive in colder temperatures before the trees leaf out. Some have fuzzy leaves or stems that help keep the frost off, and most grow close to the ground where it's warmer and where pollinators hang out. And as a form of insurance in case the pollinators don't show up, many species can clone themselves. Some will also use ants to help spread their seeds short distances across the forest floor, allowing them to slowly colonize. And because early spring brings a lot of hungry herbivores with it, some have splotchy camouflage leaves to help them blend in among the leaf litter. In short, spring ephemerals are wildflowers that are built for life in early spring. They're super timed to the season and prepare for it underground all year long. They have physical characteristics that help them survive in colder temperatures and coexist with wildlife. You can protect these spring superstars by preserving their habitat and by leaving them alone when you find them. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more nature videos like this one, please remember to like and subscribe.